So when we talk about getting data in to your new learning record store, we think about getting data from three different sources. When we first started with the Experience API, we were of the impression that within no time at all, all of the world, and especially the learning world, would have adopted XAPI for themselves and would be ready to output that data into your learning record store. Unfortunately, that's not quite happened. So whilst my first source of data of these three is the Experience API, we have to go beyond. Where you have a learning application, like a learning management system or an authoring tool that's capable of outputting using the Experience API specification, it's very simple to get that data into your learning record store. Using the authentication details that are given, you can get that data streaming into the learning locker in no time at all. Unfortunately, not everyone adopts the Experience API. Many people, many software packages, have their own APIs, application programming interfaces, that they use. So, for example, if I wanted to integrate Salesforce into my learning locker, what I'd actually need to do is to adapt the API that Salesforce provides into the Experience API. This can be done either in real time, making a transformation, maybe with a tool like Zapier, if this, then that, or using one of Learning Locker's own enterprise pipeline tools. The third way that I can get data in is using just a flat file, something like a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. We can actually convert these, as long as they're in the right sort of format of columns and rows, of activity data streaming down the page can become experience API data. You'll need to write a short script and you'll need to run that either on demand or maybe every night in order to get the data into your learning record store. But you can do it regardless or not of whether your application actually starts out outputting Experience API. So, three sources of data. Application providers that give you XAPI data. This is the easiest. Another API, maybe a system or a tool that you use has an application programming interface but doesn't use the Experience API. We can convert this. And the same goes for our third and final source, CSV, a flat file. We can convert that into the Experience API and get it loading, either in pretty much real time or in batches as you require. 